It's Labor Day weekend 2009, which can only mean one thing, and it's time for me to cook. Uh, today, I'm not going to focus so much on what I'm cooking, but what I'm cooking on. Uh, since I've posted these videos, I've had some people ask um, about the smoker I smoke on, or, or whether this is Texas style or whatever. What I'm going to show you today uh, is what the different methods are uh, that I use to either barbecue or, or smoke meat. Uh, I'm going to start with the, the simple one first. This is my char griller. Just about everybody I know has a pit similar to this. Uh, at least every Texan I know does. Uh, th this is what I use when I'm just going to throw some burgers or even a steak or, or whatever. It's, it's uh, the basic old method of charcoal, uh, cooking your food right over the charcoal, get a good coal fire going. Uh, also on the side over here, you have your wood box to where uh, if you want to really put the smoke flavor into it and not cook so fast, uh, there's ways to work these together uh, so that they produce real good results. Uh, I've had this pit here probably, gosh, almost 10 years. Uh, it's been a real good, real good pit. Uh, it does put out some, some wonderful food. But when I don't feel like stoking the fire or constantly filling the wood box or anything like that, and I've got some big pieces of meat uh, that I want to get done, uh, and want to get done right, that's when I turn to the big boy. And that would be this hand-built smoker that I built uh, well over 20 years ago. Uh, and let me, let me do a walkthrough on this thing. I've had a lot of comments come back on where did I get the pit, how did I build it, uh, how does it work, uh, of course, why do you use propane. I'm going to show you all these things, I'll go through this uh, just to show you exactly uh, what this pit does. Okay, first of all, the main body of this pit is an old sandblasting pot. I found this thing out in the field, uh, like I say, over 20 years ago. I uh, gave a fella, I think, $25 for it, uh, and then I headed to the scrap yard to get the flange on the bottom down there, which I think was about $5, and then the stack pipe, I think, was another $5. Uh, <laughs> My dad originally came up with this concept back in the day uh, on how to build a smoker, and, and I tell you, it's just it's just been great. Uh, it's, I've cooked, I can't count the number of briskets or ribs or chickens or sausage or whatever that I've cooked on this thing. It's, it's just been uh, a lot. Let's start down at the bottom with that flange. <clears throat> the flange was just simply welded on, Nothing, no big deal here. We did cut out uh, this little door here. Uh, that I can um, access the burner because the, the propane burner is, is bolted in uh, on the bottom down there. Uh, but that's pretty simple. That, that just pretty much is all that is for. Uh, going over to, the, or moving up to the smoker itself, the main body. And I'm gonna get in here and move some of this around and explain to you what this is and how it all goes together and how it works. Okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead, this is my water pan. Let's just set that to the side. And this is the wood box. Let's set that to the side for right now. Okay, there's your propane burner. Okay, we have a little side vent door over here that we can allow air in uh, as we need to. Uh, to control not only the temperature but the amount of smoke you're putting in here. Uh, again, some people will say, well, that's propane. That, that's not true Texas style barbecue or cooking or whatever, and that's hogwash because all that is, that is a heat source, okay? What that does, let me get this back up here. This is our wood box, okay? And you can see that the wood box has these arches welded onto it, okay? <clears throat> what that does, when I set this in here over the propane burner, see that? It means it doesn't sit right on the burner, it's just sitting right over it, okay? So what we do, we put our wood in the wood box. So what's gonna happen is, <clears throat> the flame is going to heat 
the box itself is not touching the wood it's just going to heat the box itself the box is going to heat the wood so that all it does is smoke it doesn't burn you get the maximum amount of smoke like this okay and you've only got you only keep your propane up on high for maybe an hour till you get this wood to go in really good and then you cut it down just to about nothing just to just to maintain the heat on the box the wood itself is going to provide plenty of heat for the food okay now <clears throat> once it gets hot enough in here once it reaches 212 degrees that's the boiling point of water okay so what's going to happen you got your water pan full of water it's now 212 degrees in here and that water is going to start steaming okay so you got your your propane which is maintaining the heat on your box and then you got your wood that is smoking and producing heat which in turn makes the water steam temperature builds up water steams comes up uh, rises up and collects in the pan that your food is in now some people ask why do you cook in a pan well it should be pretty obvious if your meats in the pan the pan is collecting all of that uh, moisture that's coming up and it's also cooking in its own juices okay well i don't want all that just falling out and going to waste i want it to cook in that in its own juice and the moisture provided by the water pan and it just make it just turns out so tender it's unbelievable uh, really a good taste but that's the reason i cook in the pan now moving up i've got a viewing area here i can open up check on things if i have to without opening the the main door uh, even though if I do, yes, you lose a lot of smoke, but it just it doesn't matter. It comes back real quick once you close the door. The best thing about this method is I don't have to constantly worry about adding wood or watching, trying to maintain a temperature or anything like that. I mean, it's pretty much set it and forget it, okay? Once you've loaded that wood box and you've got that wood to smoking uh, and you've got your temperature right where you want it, that's it that's it now you're just waiting on it to to get done basically you're not spending all day uh feeding it wood or charcoal or whatever there you can do that there's nothing wrong with that when you many people smoke uh, meats that way that's fine but this is my method it doesn't make it any less texas style than like i say uh using charcoal or wood or what type of wood you use whether it's hickory whether it's mesquite uh, that's not what makes it texas style texas style uh, meats or cooking meats are really the methods you use uh, they're usually dry rub methods you're using dry seasonings and spices to cook the food uh, it, there, there's different ways and it's just whatever works out best for you and this is what's always worked best for me and uh, people really enjoy it now what do they all have in common they all start with this Okay, that's your flame on high, and you see what I'm talking about, it's just going to heat, when I pull the box in, it's just going to heat the box, and then once I reach the desired temperature, I'm going to cut this thing back. It's going to drop down next to nothing about right there real low so there you have it I use the smoker for the big stuff and the pit for the barbecuing and grilling have a great Labor Day and we'll see you next time